Okay. I'm going to have trouble talking because I'm in a state of shock. The theme of the video is Peter's metered. And I really don't want this to be true, but... Well, I'll just explain it and then... I don't know what I'm going to do. Um... The importance of Peter being metered is several is extremely important because it knocks down first of all the idea that Peter didn't know Greek very well. I don't know why scholars think that when you look at his Greek, the point is is that he's just very creative in how he uses his words. Um, the second importance of it is to help us date the letter, but that's going to be a kind of conundrum for me. Uh, the third importance is going to be, it tells us what he's talking back to. And that's going to make me rethink a whole lot of stuff about what I've said about his letter so far. But first, let's, let me just show you what I got here. This is First Peter 1 and 2, right here. Okay? Showing up above on the screen here in Bible works is Ephesians because Peter is literally quoting Paul here. That's my first tip off. He means to do that. Okay, he's doing it on purpose. He's quoting Paul. He's referring the reader to Paul's meter. Okay, now if one swallow doesn't make a summer. So you have to have more facts. Well, one of the other facts is that whereas Paul meters his passage, Paul's dateline is right here, 56. And Paul is using an Anno Domini accounting. He's, he's saying that he's writing when Christ would have been 56 years old. Okay, that will help me because if I, I, if I have to figure out what Peter means by his date, if he's referring to Paul, then he's going to be dating his stuff like Paul. The problem is, is that he's saying 84 here. Okay, but let me show you where I got 84. First of all, I did not divide this syntactically. I just was counting syllables to see what the total syllable count was by the end of the syntactical unit, which is the end of verse 2. Okay? I come up with 84 syllables, which is extremely significant because that's the number of syllables in Psalm 90 verses 1 through 4, which of course Peter's going to be talking about in his letter. So it stands to reason he would use the metric form of pointing the reader back to a metered passage with the same meter in it. And since he's talking about Psalm 90 verses 1 through 4, which is the millennial passage, the thousand years are as a thousand, you know, one day is as a thousand years. He, he makes several references to Psalm 90 in his letter, and so it's appropriate that he would date it with 94. But then that brings the question as to what date does he mean his letter signifies. I haven't figured that out yet. Now, how did I get 84? Well, if you count the syllables you see here in the big Greek text, you'll come up with 85 syllables but I think it's 84 because I think this is a crassus. If you were saying it out loud, you'd run the chi and the irene together. All right? So that's why I think it means 84. That's not the only reason. Watch what comes next. Verse 3. This is where he quotes Paul. You logetos oteos kai pater tu curiu humon hemon Jesu Christu. He's quoting Paul exactly. Look at the, the upper part, you know, the upper line of blue on the screen. It's, it's an exact quote. He could have said it a different way. He's, he's alerting the reader to the same beginning as in Paul's Ephesians 1.3. And Paul metered Ephesians 1.3 and 4 up there in the blue text. That whole blue text is 56 syllables. And when Peter ends next syntactically, it's also 56 syllables. So he's tying directly to the passage in blue of Ephesians. 
okay, on purpose. There are many ways he could have phrased what he said, and the syllable count would have been different. He didn't have to open with this, and he didn't have to use 84 here, which is also prominent in Paul's meter, because Paul's also playing on Psalm 90. Psalm 90 was played on by Isaiah, by Daniel, by Mary, by Paul, and now by Peter. And they all play on Psalm 90. And Peter's quoting Paul and using the same syllable count as Paul. And this too has to be a crassus. Not necessarily a crassus, but an elision. Because you can't say polu autu without sounding goofball in Greek. Okay? It's just polautu. That's how they do it. All right? He's using crassus here which of course is common. So it's it's right to say that he's going to do it here with the two vowels. So in a way, I'm like, oh, I, I'm in total shock. I don't even know what else to say right now. I have to figure out, okay, if he's using 84 here to invoke Psalm 90, then I have to figure out how he parses this text here to create a date line. And there might be a way, I just haven't figured it out yet. So it's like I'm back to square zero. I'm sorry, I'm in a total shock. You know, I was I was in the middle of eating some eggs and corn tortillas. And I was looking at Peter and all of a sudden it hits me, Peter's metered. Well, now you know it's true. Signing off.